friends and welcome to the replay. Hi friends! While I am behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight, here are some things that you can do. Number one, as soon as you come in, please say hashtag live or hashtag replay depending on what you are viewing. Next, I would love it if you would put if you are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture, or you may have heard about Chalk Couture, but you're not currently working with the designer, because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Couture designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left-hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you would share my video. Also, while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. I can't forget the day we met. Next, if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Tour opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to uh, uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. So you heard it, friends. Hello, hello. It's another day of chalking. And I'm going to start off right off by showing you this beautiful kit that ends in four days, you guys. There is four days left to capitalize on this amazing offer that we have for anybody who wants to join my team this month. It's an unheard of offer that we have never done. Here is our brand new, new designer kit. It is what I like to call a business in a box because it's everything you need to get up and going and jump starting your business. It comes with five three ounce chalk paste, a small squeegee, a apron, a 12 pack of thank you cards, a 12 pack of chalkable chips, a board and base, a nine by 12 porcelain steel Ada magnetic chalkboard, the read me, the spring summer gorgeous catalog, seven silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers, the club couture transfer, and this month only, there's a bonus of an additional $25 worth of product. Um, you will get the size B homespun tags transfer and a pack of tag minis. Now that's number one thing that we're doing for specials this month. The second thing Thing we're doing that I was telling you guys was unheard of. You have the ability to earn your kit cost back. Earn it back. It is something we've never done before. Now, I don't imagine that right off the bat you'd say, hey, um, that sounds great. I'm just jumping in two feet. No, I'm sure you want to hear about it first and hear those details. So come and join down below and I will message you the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that goes over every single detail you need to know in order to make an educated decision in the month of April about joining not just Chalk Tour, but joining my team because it's something I want you to be totally happy with. Additionally, um, there is only four days left when it comes to Club Couture to get your hands on this awesome vintage typewriter Club Couture transfer this month. Um, as a bonus of being in Club Couture, 
Um, you have the ability to go into my private Club Couture group once you join Club Couture under me. Um, and I will make three additional projects each month uh, to give you the most bang for your buck with the Club Couture transfer. And I'll show you guys, um, if you look on my business page yesterday, I believe I posted those. So um, let's talk about today's project. But wait, let me let me show you really quickly one of the additional bonus projects. We did in my VIP group yesterday, uh, or in my Club Couture group, um, here's our vintage typewriter, and I made a little pen holder um, for my house, okay? I put a little W on there for Wilson. I did the cute little typewriter. I put some Scrabble letters up there to spell out love. You can put flowers in there if you want. Um, I'm going to use it to be a little pen holder in my kitchen, Um because we're always looking for pens. So I wanted to show you that one. And maybe I'll show you this one really quickly too while I'm at it. Um, we did play with some cardstock with the transfer this month. Uh, and a shadow box frame. I just have to add the little things in here that I want. I'm thinking what I want to do is add in the my lanyards from the different chalk cons that we've had. I think it would be super fun. And it's it's the uh, Mighty transfer. She remembered who she was and the game changed. I kind of did it so that way it was all lined up. I did some on the back and then the game changed is on the glass. And inside here, I'm going to add some of my lanyards. So I just wanted to show you some different things that you could do. Unfortunately, I can't show you how I did it because you got to be in my VIP group to see. My Club Couture group. So you'd have to join Club Couture under me. So if you want the details about Club Couture, all you need to do is comment club right down below and I will make sure you get those details. All right. So let's jump into this. Hi, you guys. How are you? Um, I brought a transfer in live auction. When do you think I received that? Just Melinda Thorne, yours. I can actually message you your PayPal shipping info because I do everything through PayPal. If you log into your PayPal account because you paid it as an invoice, you should see the tracking details. So go in and log into that and you'll see it. Everything was shipped out last Monday, I believe it was. I had it all done by the end of the weekend. So yours should be in there. Um, unless, Melinda, you might have been a day later, I think. So yours might have gone later because of when the payment came. So just take a look at that. Hey, Darlene. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Hi, Heather Su uh, Susan. Hi, Vanessa Bourne. I love Chalk Tour where you were coming to the UK. Vanessa, I will put you down on my list for the day that we do come if you'd like. I'm happy to let you know when we do get there. I hope we do. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Debbie Adams. Hey, Mary Beth. Hi, Mary Jean. Hi, Heather Kelly. Hi, Christy Lynn. Hey, Lori Robbins. Hi, Lori Dotson. Hey, Kim Adams. Hi, Nikki Morris. Hi, Sandy Wright. Hi, Anita. Let's see who else. Hi, Linda Gale. Hi, Betty Gibson. Hi, Belinda. Hi, Phyllis, DeLuca, you're here in Missouri, Melinda, I see that. Hi, Betty Gibson, you're a newbie here. Betty, welcome. I'm going to message you the link to my VIP group. Um, so that way you can join in on the fun. As long as you're not a designer, you can join. I'm hoping it meant you're new to learning Chalk Tour. Hey, Samantha Miller. Okay, I think I said hi to everybody. Hello, hello. Oh, wait, hold on. Kim Hockenberry and Gloria Thibault and Mary Egger and Kara Aldridge all over on YouTube. Hello. Yes, you guys all definitely should be getting them any day. I have that um, Arrive app, and I get dim dinging all day long when they're getting delivered to you guys. Hi, Leanne Parker. Hello. Hi, Leanne's husband. You got it, Vanessa. I will totally do that. I'm going to say, um, do a little comment here. Uh, notify. Whoops, I spelled it wrong. Notify. When in UK. Just so I know when I go back and look at the comments, I can see where I commented. So hi, Mary Spinelli. So let's go ahead and let's play. We're going to do some tier tray decor, guys. And I'm hoping this sweet little idea I have can come into fruition. Okay. So I posted some teasers about a B tier tray decor. I need some more tier tray decor. Okay. How do I get this out now? Do I have to wait for it to heat up? Who knows about a heat gun, a, a glue gun. So what I did was, let me fill you guys in. We're going to do, um, I think I'm going to just do, I don't know if I want to just do honey or if I want to do honey bee farms. I'm not sure. We're going to think about it, but we're going to do it on a little box frame because you guys know I love my box frames. Okay. Five by seven size. These just came back in stock last week. Yay for that because they're the best. 
I love the little palette signs in the box frames. They just make me so happy. Hey, Kristen, how are you? I will, um, I got them from one of my favorite places. Um, it's not one of the ones that I always go to that I say out loud. Just message me, Kristen, and I'll send you the link to them. Just message me. So I got a bunch of stuff, and I think I'm going to use just some of it on today's project. Um, I really need to get the glue stick out of here, though, for the one. So I got to figure out what's the secret for this. I know I have another glue gun, so maybe I could just use that, actually. Let's see. Yes. There's no glue in it either. All right. So what we're going to do is we'll have both glue guns plugged in. One with regular glue. And then one with these other super cute things that I'm hoping turns into what I want it to be. Okay. I'm hoping that I can make it look like. Hold on. I got to get to another little plug. My tower is getting filled with plugs here. Okay. This is turn on. This is the cheapest little glue gun in the world. That is definitely not coming out. So hopefully this comes out. Okay, so we are going to use these faux wax gold sticks, glue sticks, to make it look like honey dripping. Okay, I had these, okay, and I'm like, I want to make these. How, how do I make these? And I was, hmm, well, I found the little wood bees. They'll be coming. And I was looking at this and I was like, it's tacky. It's tacky. And it looks like glue. So I went on and sure enough, they sell gold glue sticks. So that's my hope for today. Hello, Claudia. How are you? Oh, the cordless Ryobi. Oh, you are a lucky girl, Darlene. I bet you that thing is going to be a beast. Hi, Ellie. You got it, Kristen. No problem. No problem at all. Hi, Heather Besner. Mail must be slow. I ordered stands for 16. Oh, wow. They haven't even shipped yet. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Mark. Hey, Peggy. How are you? Okay. So I'm going to just take one of these. This is warming up. Yay. It's back to working. It's definitely getting hot. I'm just hoping that, okay, so that it just needs to heat up before I can do this. So I wanted to do something super cute in here. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do, and then we'll, of course, once I put the honey down, we'll put some of the little bees sitting in the honey. Don't you think that would be absolutely adorable? They're like little, it feels like styrofoam underneath. So, and do not, please, I still haven't had time to do my nails. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody look at them. Um, let's see. Yes, Mary Beth. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Carol. Hi, Bobby. How are you guys? All right. So where is, okay, so I want the little honeycomb. Okay. I want that. And we're using the Bees Knees collection. Um, home is where the honey is. Home is where your honey is, is the one that has the honeycombs. And sweeter than honey is going to be probably the one that I'm going to use to say honey. Like, I just think it'll be absolutely adorable. Let's see. Yes. Okay. So let's get out. We're going to use, uh, where's my chalk paste? Hold on. Here it is. We're going to be using some bumblebee and we're going to use some black velvet. Yellow and black. You can't go wrong. So we're going to do the little honey combs first. So the first thing we need to do is fuzz it up. Okay. Now I was thinking, actually, I was thinking maybe I should do the little drop of paint like I did with the lemons when life gives you lemons transfer. Oh, I don't even know what I did with that. Oh, it's up in my kitchen. It's already into decor. Um, hi, Pam Dallas. I should learn to not hit enter. <laughs> You're funny, Darlene. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go with the chalk piece. Let's just go with the chalk piece. That'll make it look, I think, brighter. All right. So, 
Our transfers are reusable over and over and over again. As you can see, I've already well loved these transfers. Okay. Um, so I wrote on the back of my carrier sheet what they are. Now, the back side of our carrier sheet is a, um, I got to remember where to stand, is a paper side. And the side that holds the transfer, can you guys see that? It's a glossy side. So it's like, being able to remove a sticker, but these are far from stickers. These are amazing silk screen transfers. Now, what I want to do is be able to make it appear like it's running off, but I need to put some, oh, where is my placement tape? Mm -mm. Where'd my placement tape go? Huh. Okay, well, I'll just be easy, I suppose, then, which there, we all know that doesn't exist. Okay, so I want it to go there, and then I'm going to pick this one up, and I'm going to place this one right inside to keep on going. Actually, let's have this one run off. This needs to occupy more space. Or better yet, we'll just have it go like that. That's actually going to be even better. I like that even better. Okay, sometimes I have to, to think things out. A little, a little more. Hi, Pam. Okay, so the... Oh, oh, hold on. Okay, so this is definitely working again. Thank goodness. All right, so let's get a stir stick. And we're going to get our fine mist sprayer. And we're going to add just a little bit of water. Okay. into this. What I was thinking I was going to do first, let me run it by you guys and you tell me what you think, actually, before I go putting this down. You know how I feel about my box frames, right? Oh, I can't stand that sound. Hold on. Okay. I love the box frames. I love the look of them. What if I put some burlap down first and chalk the honeycomb on the burlap. What do we think about that? Like just how, how wide is this? It's sort of wide. I don't know. What do you guys think? I kind of think it would look cool, but I also don't want to take over the look of the honeycomb. Maybe we should do it. We'll just do it on this and we'll save that. I'll, I have another idea I could use with that. It's okay. We're going to go with that. Hi, Lourdes. Thanks for sharing, girl. How are you? Hi, Kim. How are you? All right. So let's do, let's go with my original idea. So pretend, let me see though. You guys might start commenting because there's a bit of a delay. Yeah. Hopefully you guys don't like that idea because I don't, I don't want to do that now. Okay. Hi, Donna Lee. How are you? Okay. Hi, Sharon Chapman. How are you? All right. So let's go ahead. We got our chalk paste stirred up to a nice yogurt-like consistency. And we're going to go ahead and just pull that chalk paste all across our silk screen area. We don't need it across the whole transfer. We just want it across the silk screen area. Now we want to get all those lines up because we don't want lines in our project, right? So make sure they're all cleared. And we're going to go ahead and peel it back. Oh, yes. Look how pretty that looks. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, where's my carrier sheet? Okay. So we got that down. This is very true, Roxanne. I totally could. I'll try chalking on one piece of it. So we're dry there. Now let's put the other piece down. And to me, it looks like it was made perfectly to fit right inside here. And I can sort of see through. Oops, that's not close enough. But I can sort of see through it to make sure that it's kind of straight. Okay. Hi. 
Oh, look how good that looks. It's perfect. Okay, so we've got that part down. Now, 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 let's get this out of the way. Close our bumblebee up. Now we're going to pull out our black velvet and we're going to go to the honey. It says, home is where your honey is. And I'm going to just take the word honey out of it. And that's it. Because I want it to be part of like my big teal tray. Uh, tiered tray. What am I saying? Teal tray. Sally, I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, so let's get that on. So we're going to do the same thing once again. Well loved. Already used it many a times. Now we're going to do this again. Okay. Hey, Joyce. How are you? Okay. Got it fuzzed up. Now I was thinking I would like to go towards the bottom and have like the honey... The honeycombs showing, like more of the honeycomb showing. I feel like I want it to be in like the bottom corner here. Don't you think that would be super cute? And then it like gives the, like makes your eye want to look more at the honeycomb above. You know what I'm saying? I think that will look super cute. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. Sometimes I get too, like, you know, wishy-washy with things. No need to, Jess. No need to. Do you need some distilled water, though, in this? It's not the exact consistency I want. There we go. All right. So let's get some paste. Glad to hear, Joyce. Yes, we're doing pretty good. We really are. We're all healthy and Big Brand is off today, which was a bonus. I didn't even know until he came home on Friday and he made a comment about it. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I got the day off. I was super pumped. So was little Bran. We always love when our when Big Bran is home. Get those lines off. Get the excess back into your jar. Let's go ahead and peel it back. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. All right. So we've got the chalk stuff done. Now, let's attempt some honey on here, shall we? And I even was hoping to maybe get some honey down in here. I think it'll be cute. I'm thinking. Hi, Sherry Jensen. Hi, Brianna. You guys like the idea of in the corner. Cool. Glad to hear. Okay, I think we're all dry. Now, what my hope is, is to maybe lay down some honey and have the cute little bee right down there and then do another one maybe up there and there. What do you think? Do you guys love that idea? I think I do. All right, hold on. We're dropping little glue pellets out left and right of this thing. So I must have had some glue in there. All right, let's see. 90 bajillion things in my craft room. Hold on. Here it goes. No, that's tape. Hold on. Squeeze out some glue balls, shall we? 
Let's get this stuff over here first so we can close up this. Hi, Christy Orzy. Okay, let's see. Okay, I think I'm up close to the gold. I'm just trying to get out the other stuff that was left. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's going to look like honey. Oh, yes, baby. All right. Oh, it's shimmery. Oh, gosh. Hold on. And it's running. Okay, you ready? Should we do up here first? I want it to look drippy. Does that make sense? Like just little spots of it. You see how cute that is? Oh my gosh, it looks just like honey. Oh my goodness gracious. Now I just gotta keep on squeezing it out to get it to load on to over here. Oh shoot, this stuff goes quick too. Hold on. I'm going to have to, like, shove another one in there, I think. Hold on. There we go. I just want it to come in looking smooth. You know? Oh my gosh, it's precious okay so let's get some down here now we'll go down in this corner now This is beyond adorable. I just want to tell you guys that. Look how freaking cute this is. So maybe we're going to do our little bee over in the corner here. I'm going to hot glue him on. Okay. <laughs> I can't take it. It's so precious. Ow, it's so hot too. Ow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, why are you so hot? You turd. <laughs> I always burn myself on it. Guys, can I get some hearts if you love it? Hey Maritza, how are you? Jen Maloney, how are you girl? They're opening May 12th. Oh wow. Hey Renee. Yay Mary Beth. Thanks Sandy Wright. Thank you, Mary. Isn't it awesome, Kim? I love it. All right, let's get let's get another bee. Maybe we'll only do where is it? I know I have another bee out. There he is. Maybe we'll do another bee right in the center up here. What do we think? I think it would be so cute. I think it's gonna be super cute. We're gonna just go with it. We're gonna stick him where he looks like he could be floating off. Let's see. Oh, no. Don't. <gasps> Hold on, you guys. So this gold stuff, just FYI. Oh, good. It does. It stays wetter longer. F, a big FYI. Um, doesn't feel as hot. Thank goodness. Okay. Hold on. I've got tons of glue strings across this. I'm afraid to get burned again. 
Okay. This is, oh God, what did I glue myself to? What's glued down? Oh my gosh, there it goes. Woo, that was crazy. All right, so we got that. Oh, you know where we could use a little more? Right there. It looks just like honey. So, so cute. Now, what the other thing I was thinking of doing is maybe should we put this across here? What do we think? What do we think? Or is it overkill? And because they're two different types of bees, what do we think? Yay? Nay. Look how cute it looks. Whoops, minus all these. The gold strings you definitely see way more. <laughs> so cute. It looks like drippy honey too. Look how cute that one looks. Let's see. Thank you, Miriam. Lisa, message me and I'll let you know. Roxanne says, yes, put it on. Darlene says, no. Joyce says, I like it. All right. Georgie says, yes. So you guys like that going on right about there then. I can't put it the other way because then I'm squishing a bee. Unless I just leave it like where it looks like it's dangling sort of like that. Because then I'm not squishing him if he's in the corner. Do we like it this way then? You guys let me know. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. All right, Mary Beth, do you like it like that? Is that what you're talking about? I think I just... Thank you, Gloria. Let me know what we think. I think this way is cute. Just like this. I think we would be good with the... I'm going to unplug the gold because I think we're good with that. Yes, that way. Okay. Leaning on the H. Perfect. Okay. Yikes. Hold on. Ah. Okay. Stop it. And then that way we're not not um squishing the little bee in the corner. I think it's so cute. My gosh, I can't wait to make my bee tier tray. So I guess today and tomorrow we'll be doing bee stuff. Not a lot because it's only going to be one bee tier tray. Um, but I do have some other, like, I definitely want to make some cute little tags. So we'll do some cute little tags and I've got some other little ideas. So I will definitely be sharing them with you. Stick should have leaned on the side of the frame. Darn it. Okay. Well, Anna, can you, hi, Danny Fuzzy. Thank you. You love the honey idea, Anna. Thanks. Um, just message me on Facebook, Anna Walker, because I'm not allowed to like, you know, say other places on my lives, but just message me and I'm happy to tell you. I think it's so cute. And there's our three, cause you know, we love threes. We got our three little honey piles. We've got our three dimensional pieces. I think we are good. It's our first little honey project. Hooray. Now, I am going to be going live in about an hour in my VIP group. I have some people who need to have some scratchers done. Don't forget, we've got loyalty scratchers happening in my VIP group right now. If you want to make a purchase, um, just go on my online store, which is the pin post on Facebook and in the comments on YouTube. Um, and when you make a purchase, you'll get a loyalty scratcher and we scratch it live in my VIP group. So... I hope you love this. Um, I hope you love the idea. Uh, tomorrow I will be back with another super fun project. 
to go with our bee themed. Oh my God, it's so precious. I just love how the honey looks. Yay, go me on feeling this little puppy up to see how it felt. I felt it was tacky. I just had that feeling it was glue of some sort. Now here's another thing. I do have these as well that we'll probably use. These are probably this, wait. These are probably this color. So we'll play with that tomorrow and we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's 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 on for B B tier tray week um, or days, a few days. So I hope you guys enjoyed my project. Remember, if you want to go into my VIP group and you are not a chocolate tour designer, comment me down below. I will message you the link to my VIP group. If you want to hear the details with only four days left to join my team with the amazing uh, special of earning your kit cost back, comment, join down below to go into my opportunity group. And for the details to get your hands on this super cute vintage typewriter, hold on. I put it back over here. Ow, that was way hot. To get your hands on the super cute vintage typewriter transfer, okay? Comment Club Couture down below and I will make sure you guys get um, all those links. Uh, other than that, I think that's it. Thanks so much for checking out my project today. I truly love spending some time with you guys. Um, but I will be back tomorrow for some more super fun projects. Take care, guys. Bye.